I'm at the doctor. Just had my finger pricked. Oh, and I'm bleeding. Just a physical, nothing crazy, but I thought I would start the vlog today. Happy October 8th. It's Monday morning at 7.30. I'm at the doctor. Just check up. All right, I'll check back in when I get my coffee. Hi guys. I'm leaving the doctor. <laughs> Got some blood work done, nothing dramatic, just my vitamin D levels. Um, I live in Ohio and we don't get enough sunshine apparently, so everybody's vitamin D is low. So I take a vitamin D, but they wanted to check it. Uh, everything else is good except for the CDC, whoever you are, changed the recommendation for colonoscopies from 50, which I won't be 50 for two years, to 45. What? What? No! I mentally had two years. Am I blurry? Two years. If that way. I'm 47. I'll be 48. So I have all my 48, all of my 49, and then 53 years. Three years. Until I have to have a colonoscopy. Now I have to get one next year. What? Ugh, rude. Um, but the, the good thing is I don't, I don't have to get it this year. She said it's going to take about a year for the insurances to catch up that will pay for it. So, got to prepare for that. Right now, I'm preparing for some coffee because I, when I have a physical, you know, you go to the physical, it's usually a fasting target. It's usually fasting. And that means no coffee or breakfast or anything like that. Um... They also pricked my finger. I didn't want them. Well, the finger pricking was my A1C, which is measures my um, blood sugar levels over the past 90 days. It comes out with like an average um, for those who care. As a diabetic, my goal is to be under 6.5. As a non-diabetic, you should be under 6.0, like in the four, fives, really. But anything under 6.0, I believe, is not diabetic. So, um, they check it whenever I go in. Like, about every six months it gets checked or not. Depends. If I'm in control, meaning that my last couple blood works and my blood sugar levels and everything is running good, I'm considered in control. And I think I only have to have it checked every six months, maybe three but if you are uncontrolled, meaning your A1C is high, and that, so what that means, if your A1C is high, that means that your blood sugars have been up and down, up and down, up and down. And high blood sugars is not good for your body. Um, last year, I think it was like February or March, I had my A1C, no, my mom passed away in February two years ago I went on the keto diet February of 2017 I've been on it for a year not a diet lifestyle way of eating um, I went on it in June of last year so it's somewhere before June I had uh, my blood work done and my a1c was 9.3 which is terribly out of control Please hold. Thank you, Tim Hortons. Do I have a order? Large coffee, four cream, two equal. Is that all for you? Yes, please. Two oh five. Thank you. Thank you. Had to order my coffee. Terrible. It was terribly out of control. So that's what triggered me to go on the keto, uh, the ketogenic diet. Within two months of starting that diet, my it went from 9.3 to 7.2, and then they checked it again a couple months later, and it was down to 5.9. Now I'm hovering around 6, so that's good. I'm in control. <laughs> For those of you who needed a medical update. Um, so I like, needed another test today, but I couldn't do it, so I need to go back in six, 
uh, actually six weeks, which is going to be the week of Thanksgiving, which I am off work. I'm off on that week. So I'm coming back on the Monday of my first day of vacation, which is fine to get that taken care of. And then, yeah, nothing exciting. I'm headed to work. I've decided if I'm going to do some Uber Eats deliveries tonight or not. We'll see. And I'll be back. There is nothing better in the morning than the first sip of hot coffee. And I got to share that with you today. <laughs> it just the warmth goes down your throat. And this is Tim Hortons. I don't love their lids. I'm not going to lie. The Starbucks lids kind of helps with splashing. These don't. But irrelevant. Um, I like their coffee. I like coffee in general. I'm a coffee person, so it doesn't really matter where. I'm not a huge lover of the gas station coffee, and only because it's, um, generally, it's been sitting out for a long time. Can we talk about one thing? It is October the 8th, October 8th. It is going to be almost 90 today. No, I want fall, please. Oh, I wish I could show you this. I'm going driving into downtown Columbus to go to work. Let's see if I can get a shot of it. Alrighty, here we come. Coming into downtown Columbus. That's the skyline. I'm skirting around it. I'm getting ready to go north. But I thought you would enjoy that. Alrighty, talk to you later. Hi, we're in my craft room. My cousin called me, or texted me today actually, and asked me if I would make a tutu for her daughter for Halloween. So of course I said yep, and I stopped on the way home and bought the, the tooling that I need. So I'm gonna sew a little, I'm gonna sew it together, I decided, this year. Um, make sure that's good, okay. I'm gonna sew it together for her, and I thought I would bring you along. Um, there's a couple ways to make a tutu. One is you cut strips and you tie them on the ribbon. I mean, that's really fine, but it's very tedious. And this way, uh, all I'm doing is sewing like a curtain. I'm making a whole uh, sleeve. And she wanted the pink under the blue. It's pink and blue. I'll show you when it's finished. So I'm going to sew the tops together, and then I'm going to sew a pocket and feed the blue ribbon through. She's going to be Eeyore. How exciting. I mean, Halloween is fun for the little ones, so why not help them be the best characters they can be, right? All right, so I'll be right back. We're going to finish up here, and then I'm going to show you how I feed the oh, um, ribbon through. So I'm, hold on one second, and we're done. Okay. I'm going to move the sewing machine out of my way. And I'll show you the pocket I just created out of tooling. And this is five yards of tool. Can you see that yarn? I just made a pocket, and I will feed the ribbon between the four layers of blue and the four layers of pink. And it's not even, and I'm okay with that. But I gotta go get an elastic when I have little threads all over the place. And then when I hang it up, I'll even it out if I need to. Although it's a costume. I know the blue didn't fold properly. So I don't know if I have three layers, four, whatever. It'll be fine. Because it's gonna be all, all bunched up like that. All right, give me one second. All right, I've got a big old safety pin. I'm gonna feed it and I weave it in a little bit. And I bought these super long ones specifically for this job. Not this specific tutu, but to do this weaving through. So I'm just gonna 
pick it up. I'm looking to see the two colors. And then you just feed this in the end, the ribbon, and you use the safety pin to pull it on. And then you just kind of tug back here and you see the ribbon going right through the center. And this way, I could make elastic, but I would need her here to measure her waist. And she's not here, and I won't see her before Halloween. I'm going to have her mom will probably stop on her way to work tomorrow night, or I'll deliver it to the house tomorrow night um, for her to try it on. But I'm sure this will fit. And then I have to remind them any stray yarn threads they might see. We don't pull them. We cut thread. You don't pull threads. So this is just going to go through here. This took me less, really less than an hour to create. So I'm going to continue feeding this through. And then I will show you what it looks like when it is done. Alrighty. Here is the tutu. The blue and then underneath is pink and a pretty little bow. I didn't cut the ribbon. Uh, her mom can cut it once she gets it, her in it. Um, and then determines how long the ribbon needs to be. I'll just leave the ribbon. And then if she needs some extra ribbon, the one thing that bothers me, which I'm probably the only one, is this tooling wasn't folded properly. But whatevs. So there's my night's project. I think she will make an adorable Eeyore. And that is everything. I don't know why I'd stop videoing, but have a good night, guys. Good night.